In this video, we're going to take a look at the process of downloading and installing the free OpenBazaar program for your Windows computer. Now, if you're not familiar with OpenBazaar, I recommend that you take a look at my intro video where I introduce and give you a quick overview of OpenBazaar and what it is and how it works. But to get started, what you want to do is open up your web browser and go to openbazaar.org. That is O-P-E-N-B-A-Z-A-A-R dot O-R-G. It's bazaar, bazaar, as in a marketplace, not bazaar as in strange. So when you're on that page, you're going to see something that looks kind of like this, and you're going to just look for the download button. And on the next page, once you click that download link, in most cases, it's going to automatically open up in a dialog box, a window asking you if you want to save the file, and you, of course, want to do that. Click Save. Now, if it, for some reason that does not happen, and you don't get the automatic download window, then look underneath the main title here. You'll see Windows, and you'll see 32-bit and 64-bit. If you're not sure if you have a 32-bit or 64-bit version of Windows, pretty good chance if you've got a newer computer that it's 64-bit, but if you're not sure, 32-bit should work on either type, either version of Windows. So I've clicked the download link. You can click the link yourself if it doesn't work automatically, and it will begin to download, and it has downloaded at this point, so I'm going to go to my downloads folder, and here is the setup program. You can do a quick virus scan to be safe, of course, and once you've done it, checked it out and it's fine, then you just go ahead and open it up, double click it, and you'll get the typical prompt asking if you want to really, really want to open it, and you do. It's going to look a little different depending on what version of Windows you're running. And then after a moment, you'll see a splash screen launch as the installer begins. Now, if you happen to get a Windows security alert or an alert from your third-party firewall, if you're not using the Windows firewall, then it, it may ask you if you want to allow access to the internet for this program, because it does, sometimes it might try to block it. And you do want to make sure you hit allow access or permit or however it's labeled on whatever program you're running. And that will allow it to actually work. If you block it, it won't actually work properly. And at this point, you will have a step one of 10 of a setup process.